Hey everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today is going to be a different kind of a video. It's not going to be an unboxing. It's not going to be a comparison video. Rather, I'm going to be touching on a topic that I think a lot of you guys are aware of, and that is Louis Vuitton's remake of The Toiletry. As a lot of you guys do know that follow me, I include spiritual inspiration towards the end of my videos. In this video, I will not be doing that. I'm just going to be going straight to the point of what this video is about, but guaranteed in my next, I'll definitely include that spiritual inspiration. In case any of you guys may be interested, I am wearing these Chanel logo drop down earrings as I am wearing a Chanel logo necklace. I think they complement each other quite well. Gotta say, you guys, for Chanel jewelry, I've had very, very good luck with Fashion File. And speaking of jewelry, I do have an upcoming jewelry collection video coming up, as well as my bag collection video. I'm very, very excited to show you. A quick thank you to everybody that has chosen to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so very much. And to everybody that's new to my channel, I'm kindly asking you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So let's just get right into this topic, shall we? And by the way, this is a very open-ended discussion. As a lot of you guys know, I really don't talk about anything negative on my channel. I'm not saying this is gonna go in a negative direction, but I typically don't. Actually, I never do. I like to keep things positive. That's just the way my personality is. But I was on Instagram not too long ago and Foxy LV, credit to her, posted about the revised toiletry and really I just could not believe what I saw. Let me just show you something very quickly. This toiletry 26, I have a chain attached to it. I think a lot of you guys would agree it looks quite flawless, wouldn't you say? It looks quite natural to this piece. And then I have this toiletry 15 right here, which you guys can see I have this gorgeous charm. It never leaves this piece. Honestly, Zari Collections for charms is the go-to. I love buying Louis Vuitton charms, but they are expensive. Zari Collections really does offer very high quality charms. And when I say high quality, I truly mean that. I couldn't promote something I don't believe in. I actually use their products. So if you're interested in going on their website, checking out what they have to offer, please do enter my code upon checkout and you will receive a discount. Can't deny, I don't even know if I'll take this charm off this toiletry 15. It's so, so pretty. So anyways, yes, I was on Instagram and I happened to notice Foxy LV posted a revised version of the toiletry, which looked a lot like this one, as you guys can see. The only difference was they added Vachetta right here. But with the Toiletry 15, it doesn't look like they added Vachetta to it. In my personal opinion, I would prefer Monogram. They also offered a clutch version that had black leather. If I were to have it my way between Vachetta or black leather, I definitely would go with the black leather as it is more carefree and I think more luxurious looking. Basically, the reason I'm doing this video is because, like I said, I like to stay positive, but I did find it quite offensive that Louis Vuitton decided to take away this toiletry from us and then revamp it and put it at a price tag that was astronomical, 1,760 US dollars. I could definitely talk about price increases, but that's what luxury fashion houses do. But the problem I have with Louis Vuitton with this whole toiletry remake thing is the fact that they took our idea and I don't appreciate that. I don't like stealing. I'm sure Louis Vuitton doesn't appreciate it when other companies make counterfeits of their bags that's stealing, but they're doing the same exact thing when they took this toiletry idea and they decided to add the chain. Because as most of you know that are watching right now, this has been done for quite a long time. I actually did a video on converting this toiletry 26 and making it into a bag and putting a chain on it. I think most of you guys that are watching have seen this done. You know that it's something that's just a thing. I would guess that about 90, 95% of you guys that are watching this are not new to the idea of a chain being added to the toiletry. So my problem really does come in with the whole concept of stealing the idea from the consumer. And it goes even further when I think to myself, there are different levels of buyers. 
when you think about it, you have the entry level buyer and then there's the middle buyer and then there's the millionaire, billionaire, Beverly Hills buyer. Now, I will say no matter how much money you have, obviously you can convert this, but for the entry level person that's getting into Louis Vuitton, this was a great way for them to do that. This was an affordable way for them to do that. I've literally just lost respect for whoever was behind the creation of the remake of this toiletry because as the picture shows, it looks a a lot like the toiletry 26 size and as the picture shows it looks a lot like this toiletry 15 size what did I pay for this hmm not over seven eight hundred dollars and they're now selling it for nearly eighteen hundred dollars and I just don't think it's right and when I think about when the toiletries were removed everybody was just trying to get their hands on it because they literally just removed it from the website with no warning so really I just I've lost respect for the company in general with this move. I understand price increases, but I don't understand stealing. And that's exactly what they did when they chose to make a remake of this toiletry, add a chain, when they made the choice to just make this bag as a clutch and put black leather right here. That was literally just stealing our, the consumer ideas and stealing just in general, it's wrong. You just don't do it. As a lot of you guys know, Louis Vuitton is my favorite fashion house. And the question can come to, will I still buy Louis Vuitton because they made this decision? As a lot of you guys know that watch me, you just know Louis Vuitton is my favorite fashion house. There's two things to this equation as to whether or not I'll continue to buy Louis Vuitton. One is why do I love the brand so much? Two, why the heck did they choose to do that with the remake of the toiletry? I'll address the first one initially. I love Louis Vuitton because of the history. I love the fact that the Demi Ben canvas has been in high fashion and style since the late 1800s and truly remains in very high fashion and style to this day. I'm sure back in the 1800s, they did not know 2022, it would be like this. Also the monogram canvas that has lasted many, 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 decades it stands the test of time i find it to be very classy iconic and beautiful but then louis vuitton has to go and make this decision and steal from the consumer and basically just lose my respect to a pretty high degree and i really don't like that so where i stand now is basically yes i will continue to buy louis vuitton but has my opinion of them changed? It has slightly, and I can say it's very disappointing. I don't like anybody taking advantage of anyone. And I know that businesses are businesses and they want to make their money. And I remember in college, I did a paper about how businesses, shock, shock, you guys know I have a deep soul, <laughs> how businesses do not have a soul. But all that information and knowledge just pushed to the side, businesses don't have a soul, we all know that there were people that made that decision to do the remake of the toiletry, to steal from the consumer. Again, stealing is wrong. And I'm definitely not here to throw stones. I love Louis Vuitton. Like I said, you guys, I love to be positive, but I'm also very empathetic to other people. I'm very empathetic to anybody that's trying to get into Louis Vuitton that loved this piece perhaps and wanted to make it into a bag like I did with this one. And whoever those people were who decided to remake this toiletry failed on the beginner consumer that came up with this idea. They chose to steal the idea. Idea. Like I said, you guys, I'd like this to be an open conversation and see how we all feel about this. Am I the only one that feels that Louis Vuitton stole this idea? Am I the only one that thinks stealing is wrong? I don't want to throw stones again, but yes, it is wrong in my opinion. But I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know if you agree, if you disagree. And also, if you guys do want to get the new toiletries, do you like the new Vichetta? Do you like for the clutch, the new black leather? Me personally, I really do like the black leather. I do suppose, looking at the positive, if you weren't able to get the toiletry 26 and 15, I do believe these are the sizes that are coming out. This is your opportunity to do so.
And yes, it's expensive, but I will say they are great pieces. Gotta leave this on a positive note. I don't like to be negative. And one more thing I did notice with the Toiletry 15, they added a pool tab right here. I really don't need that because I have this beautiful little charm to open and close this piece. It's absolutely perfect. Again, you guys, Zari Collections, they're amazing. Linked within the description box below. Also something that just came to mind, it really didn't say whether this is going to be the 26 size in the 15, but just looking at the picture, that really seems what the case is going to be. So yes, this is the topic. Yes, I'd love to know what you guys think. I greatly thank you for taking the time to watch this video and until my next, I have to tell you, I'm very, very excited about. You guys take care. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.